Hi, this is Bird from Birds SVG. So in this video, we'll be putting together the Pearl Tree Card, and that's from the Festive Gems SVG collection. First of all, I'd like to apologise for my voice. I've got a cold at the moment. So first of all, we'll be putting our card base together. Now, this comes in two parts, and you've got some glue, uh, a tab here you want to put some glue on to join the two parts together. Now, you want to ensure that your textured uh, side of your card is um, outward facing and the tab is on the inside. So you don't want the tab to be on the outside of the card, you must make sure it's on the inside. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop an insert into our card, which will not only um, add some strength to our card base and counterbalance the front of our card, but it will also cover up that tab, that hinge, so no one will ever know how we made this size card. So I'm just making sure that that's in the middle. And when I'm happy that that's in place and the glue's taken hold, I can start to work on my front layers. So I'm using some glitter card here for this layer, but obviously you don't have to do that. You could use some pattern paper. And I'm gluing this down onto my backing layer here. And then I'll be adding some glue onto the back of this uh, these layers and adding them directly to my card base. If you'd like some more dimension on your card, you can always add some uh, dimensional adhesive here, some glue dots, foam pads, um, or silicon glue gel, whatever your um, choice of dimensional glue is. Um, but I've chosen to glue it directly down onto my card base. So I'm just making sure it's central before I add some pressure onto the back. Um, because you can't really add pressure onto the glitter side, it's too rough to smooth over. So I'm just pushing down onto my desk and making sure that that's taken hold. And then I can start to work on my front layer. Okay, so this is um, the template for where I'll be adding the pearls to form my tree. Um, I'm adding glue onto this um, piece and then um, adhering it down to its backing layer but if you've got loose gems um, you may want to cover the tree area with some double-sided um, tape just just add strips of it beside each other to cover that whole tree area um, so if you are using loose gems that don't already have um, glue on the back of them then you've got sticky dots then um, to pop your um, pearls or gems into but I'm using um, self-adhesive uh, gems so I don't need to do that Okay, so I've chosen to use uh, cream pearls today, and you'll need 4mm, 5mm and 6mm um, to fill the design. Now, if you don't have, um, or if you don't wish to use cream pearls, you might want to have coloured ones, you might have green ones, which I think would look really nice for the tree, or a mixture of colours to look like it's got um, shiny balls on it or anything like that. That would look great. I'd love to see that if you make one, you know, share it on my Facebook page and well, I'm sure we'd all love to see that. Alternatively, I was thinking um, that you could use um, liquid um, kind of faux pearls or faux, faux gems. Um, I know there's a lot of um, kind of liquid pearls. Uh, Tonic have got Nouveau drops, there's stickles, anything like that that dries dimensionally and gives you that kind of faux pearl look, I think would be great here too. Um, if you don't have um, a stash of uh, gems or pearls. Um, right, now I didn't have any self adhesive 6 mil. Um, pearl. So I'm just using some loose ones and as I didn't add any um, double-sided um, adhesive on the back of my tree design I just popped a little bit of glue in each of the little holes and um, just put my pearls in on top. Now you get this little um, pot shape. I've cut mine out of paper. It was very lightweight so I decided to cut two pieces and then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, ribbon around the top of my pot. So I'm just adding some um, double sided or some strong double sided tape onto the back of my ribbon but you could use glue instead it was a little bit tricky getting the backing off of this but it, it is worth it 
there I got it eventually <laughs> and I'm just popping that across the top of my little pot and then I want to um, add a little bit of dimension onto the back of my pot so I'm just going to snip a little bit of 3D foam tape and pop that onto my pot there and then pop it just below my tree now I think um, I was using very thick glitter ribbon but if you had a thinner ribbon I think it would be really nice if you put a little bow there on the pot as well like maybe even a little um, red satin bow or something I think would look really nice there so my layer is finished and I'll be popping that over and putting some 3D foam tape on the back. I always go really heavy handed with this. Um, but what I um, really recommend you do, if you're using a really heavy glittered paper like I am, it's adding some glue onto your 3D foam uh, pads because over time they can slowly release. Um, and you don't want that if it's sat on someone's mantelpiece. Um, so add a little bit of glue onto your 3D foam tape and um, especially it's, it's, if you're using, you know, heavily encrusted glitters and things like that. Okay, so my card is done. So we'll put together the envelope. And the envelope has the a similar uh, tree design on the front. So first of all, we're going to fold along all the score lines just so we can see where this, you know, those... Um, those score lines are to see where we need to place our insert our liner into our envelope and I'm just adding a little bit of glue nothing too heavy just a, a light layer of glue around the tree area and then I'm just going to put one layer around the outside edge of my liner here and I'm using the same gold card that I used in the backing layers of my um, my card itself so it all kind of coordinates and I think it looks great. It's got a bit of shine through uh, through the tree design in the envelope. So now I'm going to be adding just a little bit of glue to the bottom two edges on my side tabs here. And that's all I need to, to uh, close up my envelope. And I'm hoping my gems are glued enough. They're dry enough now so I can show you that your card will fit inside your envelope. And there it's all done. Another dimensional fun a card that will help you use the gems or pearls from your stash and I also hope that any recipients will really enjoy receiving this and displaying it this Christmas.